So before going into the details about Batlax Hypersport S22, I just want to mention that Bridgestone is introducing four new tires for 2019. After introducing five new tires last year, we are introducing now four new tires. First of all, a new Batlack, Bat, Battlecross E50, which is our latest Enduro tire. Then we have two new products of two new segments for Bridgestone. One is the AX41S Batlax Adventure Cross Scrambler, which is a really design-oriented tire with performance to suit cafe racers, custom builds, everything like that. And then we have our latest Adventure Cross AX41, which is our Adventure Nobby tire. So, now you see the Batlax Hypersport S22 comes into first line from our Hypersport segment. S21, his predecessor, comes into second line and we are keeping BT16 Pro into third line. Before going into the technical details on how the development was done from S21 to S22, I just want to give you some background information about the Hypersport segment. So today, this segment, we need to fulfill a lot of things with these tires. First of all, the Hypersport segment is always about more power, lighter, faster. And the tire is part of this game. So we are also following up this kind of introduction for ourselves to make sure that we get faster, better and lighter. Before going into the real technical details, I want to give you first a little bit background about the concept of the tire. Secondly, what were the technical aims and how we did it in the third phase. So first of all, the concept was starting from our S21, which was a real good introduction in 2016, setting the benchmark in the hypersport segment. So what is good, we keep it for sure, and we work on that further on. So we wanted to add excellent wet performance to the tire in the first place, adding also feedback, contact feel to the tire to make the connection with the road. That was somehow the initial concept of Badlax Hypersport S22. The technical aims behind that is that, first of all, we wanted to upgrade the real wet grip, also the wet handling in uh, all the conditions to make it lighter, to have more feeling, increase the handling lightness to make it more sporty, that was also one of the technical aims, increase the cornering speed, that was a real technical argument for us to make sure that we could increase the performance of the tire, and last but not least, we wanted to do this without sacrificing the wear life of S21 which was a real reference at the introduction in 2016. So how did we do this? From a methodology point of view, we worked a lot on the pattern design. I will go further on explaining step by step what we are doing, what we've been doing on that side. A new track structure in 3LC and 5LC, and new compounding, new molecular approach to make sure that the adhesion power has been increased. So let's start with the pattern design. S22 is a completely new tire. So we start not from S21 to make an S21 Evo. S22 is a fully new development. So just for you to see, in terms of pattern design, we increase the sea length ratio on the shoulder area from the front and the rear tire to enhance one, the water drainage. I will come back on that further on. Increase the handling because the deformation and the angle of the grooves have been increased to the longitudinal way to make the forces working on the tire that direction. And last, increase the limit control and the feedback of the tire. Because we increase the amount of grooves on the tire, you can imagine that the deformation between the groove has been increased as well. In terms of technical elements, let's start with the front tire first. First, we have a 3LC configuration. 3LC is our Bridgestone name for a dual compound approach. So the front tire is a dual compound where we really worked on new compounds from the center area of the tire. And this one has been used with optimized resin components in the initial mix of the compound, enhancing in the end the grip characteristics. You see here the graph of the grip enhancement of the front tire. You need to imagine that for street use, we are in this range of the temperature of the tire that we are using on the streets. So meaning that the tire has been extra grip, having extra grip all over the temperature of the usage of the tire. For the rear tire, first of all, the improvements of the front tire, I was talking about the combination of the new pattern design and those new compounds, enhancing, first of all, the feedback, like I said in the first time, Secondly, more grip all over the temperature ranges and the total handling because we could increase that as well to have that extra sporty feeling. For the rear tire, we are using a 5LC configuration. So that means that we're using three compounds on the rear. 
are harder in the middle. On the traction area, a little bit softer, but with high uh, stiffness components, and on the soft edge compound to make a real balanced tire overall. We have two new compounds on the rear tire. We have the center one and we have the traction one. The traction area has the same capabilities and a new enhancement in terms of grip, like the front tire because of the new resin components in the initial mixture. But what is completely new as well is that we have the center rear compound, enhancing more than 25% extra molecules from silica touching the ground. So you can see here down on this graph that from S21 to S22, we could make sure that the silica molecules are getting much smaller, meaning that in the total, touching the ground on a micro level, you need to imagine this really when the contact is touching the ground, that 25% more molecules of silica are touching the ground. So the improvements related to that, grip enhancement, secondly also the wet grip because of the silica touching more the ground, but normally you would say, okay, but what do, what do you think about the mileage linked to that? Because you have more grip, you have so on. Well, after all, we have no problem in terms of wear life. I will come back with the real data behind, but first of all, I want to show you extra data about the performance increase. 15% higher cornering speed in the drive. 15%. So you need to think about same line, same bike, you can take the same line with 15% more speed. So that's really impressive for us and to show really that we make a step forward from S21 to S22. In terms of wet grip, we could enhance that much that we could have less slip at the traction phases uh, with S22 compared to S21. And that's a graph just above there on the right side where you see that you can create more speed as of from the start before that the tire starts slipping again. So that's where you can really see the enhancement from S22 compared to S21. Our red chart that we want to always explain to show where we are today compared to our predecessor, you see that S22, we took our time to develop, we took one extra year compared to the previous generations, really to take the time to come on the market with a tire where we know that we're gonna be, again, the benchmark like it was for S21. So here you see that all performances areas have been increased. But then you are, like I said, you are thinking that because of that, mileage could be sacrificed. But this is not the case. S22 keeps, remains with the same outstanding mileage as its predecessor. Because at the introduction of S21, we made a huge step forward with 36% more mileage compared to its predecessor. And that was something we wanted to keep with S22 and make sure that this was kept all over the development. In terms of size lineup, we introduced already from January 2019 six sizes and we're going to have a second phase launch in 2020 with the small Supersport 300 sizes and the special Ducati 18060 size. So as a recap, Badlex Hypersport S22 is a tire without compromise. First of all, it has performances increase in all the performance areas from dry grip, dry handling, wet grip, wet handling, uh, stability and performance. 5% faster, faster wet lap time on our personal wet handling track. This is a big step forward to show that the wet grip has been enhanced and 15% more cornering speed in the dry. So all those numbers are really impressive, but this is where S22 is all about. And all this performance is increased without sacrificing anything about the wear life of the tire. This was the technical presentation, very easy. If you have any questions, shoot them now, or even later on. Tomorrow I will be on the track as well, so we can have one-to-one -one chats as well. So don't hesitate now, maybe for the group, or later on tonight.